Candles are lining East Michigan Avenue. I'm your Jackson neighborhood reporter Olivia Pajot. As picketing continues, we're learning more about the victim who was killed here on Saturday night while picketing. As picketers say, they're fighting for what their livelihood looks like. They're honoring a life. UAW Local 475 President Donnie Huffman knew Seth Webb, who police say was hit and killed by a truck while picketing Saturday night. He's a great dude. Um, he was uh, known for being a very helpful person. If anyone ever needed help with anything, he was always there to help out. I'm happy to help. Picketer Ron Johnson is one of those marching as a memorial grows for Webb. What happened was un uncalled for. Strike Captain Joe Quainton says the march now takes on raw emotions. Sad. I don't know. It's hard to describe. Yep. Really, you just you hate to see someone that's someone so young like that just trying to get a better contract. And some now walk with memories of Saturday night. Johnson says he arrived at the scene after the crash. Um, when we got here, there was chaotic. People were getting loud. People were upset. Despite the tragedy, the picket continues near the scene of the deadly crash. In, in some ways, people are more motivated, but at the same time, there is, you know, kind of a dark cloud over this. To picketers, Webb remains in their thoughts as they stand for what they believe in. In Jackson, I'm Olivia Pajot, Fox 47 News.